Episode 15, The Tables Turn. Greetings, I am Wally the Servo Skull and I'll be your narrator. Since their discovery of pure strain gene stealers along the Great Coastal Highway, the Corda Gang the Ash Blessed have been scouring the wasteland for signs of the Xenos infection, turning all attention and resources toward prosecuting their purge, having found a gene stealer cult convoy on the road to Ash Town, a stop along the way to Hive Primus, the Corda have hectored them, leaving only the cult's cargo 8, Ridge Hauler keeping pace ahead of the heavier pursuer, but as luck would have it, the Ash Wastes Nomads, David's gang have been using this road as a convenient ambush spot, and have strategically positioned their fighters in cover around the roadway, setting a trap to ensnare travelers and enable the gang to quickly dispatch escorts and take what they need from the wreckage, the cult plows right into the trap, stalling the powerful vehicle's engine. The mission takes place on a poorly maintained access road along the route to Ash Town, on the border of the Palatine Cluster. The mission. The mission sees the Cargo 8 Ridge Hauler, carrying a number of Gene Stealer cult defenders and a mysterious cargo, start at the center of the board with its engine stalled, the Ash Wastes Nomads deploy a selection of their fighters, while the rest go into reserves, the Corda deploy Tanctuary and a handful of additional fighters, the goal is to destroy the Ridge Hauler and reach the cargo first, the weather is acid rain, visibility is 12 inches and all weapons are treated as having one higher AP, the road conditions are broken ground, non-road surfaces are difficult terrain, for the full mission PDF see the show notes. The gangs. The Ash Wastes Nomads bring their entire gang to bear, including a leader with blast carbine and long rifle, two champions with charge casters, and three dust riders, as well as a number of dust runners. The full gang roster can be found in the mission PDF. All right, David, so we got kind of a different situation than this one. Very different. A little terrified just because uh, I feel shorthanded from the get-go, but, uh, We'll see how quickly they start moving and uh, maybe we get a few pop shots off before that thing starts rolling and before you come in to tear my ass up. Yeah, well, and they've got, uh, you've got your reserves that can come in. So there is that. So you're you're going to be kind yeah. of getting a trickle of, of guys in. I, trickle, on the other hand, rolled... long rifles. <laughs> I only rolled three fighters for, for my crew uh, in addition oh, to the okay. tanctuary. So it's just some mounted folks uh, and the tank. So this could be interesting. I'm a fan of the terrain, so. Yeah, I think this is a good setup. I'm, I'm excited to play it out. I wish I wish I had a much larger crew so I could take advantage of, of the peaks and <laughs> just set up with my rifles. But uh, yeah, small crew tonight, and we'll see. We'll see how strong the little crew is. All right. The Corda gang have a small crew, bringing just Tanctuary and the gang's leader and champions mounted on bikes. Yeah. Yeah, so the Tanctuary has been hunting these gene stealers uh, ever since the incident with the, uh, the incident at the marketplace. And now we are kind of finally closing in for the kill. And it turns out that uh, the, the truck has sort of driven into Ash Waste Nomad's territory. And so uh, we're going to be kind of... Uh, I don't know, fighting over the scraps, I guess we'll, we'll say, or, or at least trying to both take it down before we fight over the scraps. So we'll see how it goes. Deployment. If you like our content, don't forget to like and subscribe, and for as little as $2 a month you can become a patron and help support the show. Turn 1. And you can roll yours. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the Gene Stealers go first. The Gene Stealer Cult Ridge Hauler attempts to restart. The Gene Stealer Cult Ridge Hauler successfully restarts. The Ridge Hauler makes a move and shoot action. The Ridge Hauler targets the Nomad Dust Rider. All right, so it will hit. So it does wound. Now he has armor now. All right, so you won't save. And he goes out of action. <laughs> 62. So he's critically injured. 
the dust rider is critically injured. Elena Group activates the quarter champion and leader, they move up. David activates a champion and targets the ridge hauler with a charge caster flak missile. All right, so you hit. So it will hit. The wound. So oh. it will not wound him, but he is. Uh, it's uh, his toughness three, so it will wound him. So, so it, it, it wounds him. Oh, and he goes oh, out of action. Bomb. Uh, so it's not going to wound the shotgun guy. Now roll for the last gun guy. It's not going to wound him. And now roll for the auto gun guy. It will wound the auto gun guy. Does he? Seriously injured. He goes down. This guy goes back. This guy goes back. Uh, all right, so you will wound him. He will Boom. make it. Saves. And now for the ridge hauler. So we're not. <laughs> the gene stealer cultists pass their cool checks. The cultist with the Laskin stands up and targets one of the nomad champions. It will hit. Um, three up. So it will wound. Uh, it's then he loses one wound. The champion passes his initiative check and does not fall. Tanctuary floors it, shooting forward 21 inches. One of the surviving Helamites charges forward, attacking the Cargo 8 Ridge Hauler. You get how many attacks? Three? three? Yeah, three. So two, two hit. hit. And the other one. Ah, uh, just whiffed it. <laughs> the cultist with the heavy stubber stands up and fires at the Dust Rider. So he misses, whiffs it completely. Can't catch this bug in the dark. The last quarter bike moves up. The nomad leader targets the gene stealer ridge hauler. So it will hit for three. That's six. You get to roll three. Boom, all right. So a, a penetrating hit to the engine. Loss of power. The vehicle loses one hull point and for the remainder of this battle, it cannot move further than its movement characteristic during its activation. Additionally, it immediately makes a loss of control test. We're in this game. It makes it. The Autogon Cultus stands back up and targets one of the champions. It does hit three. It will not wound. But your guy does get pinned, which means he might fall. The Nomad is pinned but does not fall. The Aberrant stands back up but can't do anything else. One of the dust runners comes in from reserves. David passes his bottle check. The seriously injured Gene Steeler cultist recovers. So, uh, first round. Impressions? Range of emotions. We went from the low, low, uh, getting killed right out of the gate, to like a pretty good, like the leader came through at the end. We had a nice pop shot, penetrating hit to the engine. Didn't, didn't get him to crash, but you know, it's uh, encouraging that we got some some big hits to come. Slowing and, that truck down uh, is a big deal. And I, I'm looking forward, like, come on, initiative check. I'm hitching a ride on this thing. Like, there's never been an opportunity. <laughs> we're, we're, we're taking a ride. All right. Well, I'm excited to see whether you pull it off. Yeah. So the thing David was alluding to is that he wants to jump on to Tanctuary and hitch a ride, uh, which is something that he absolutely can do. It's a slightly ridiculous situation. Um, I don't have anyone on board to defend the vehicle, and he'll be out of like the firing arcs of all my weapons. So uh, once he's on board, he just kind of gets to live there, uh, which is pretty funny. It's like a very Ash Nomad approach. Turn two. I'll roll these two. All right, somehow both rolled sixes, and you rolled a six too. Let's re-roll the whole thing. All right, so they go, then you, then me. The ridge hauler moves up and the dust rider successfully avoids being hit. 
The ridge hauler targets the nomad leader with its grenade launcher. It misses. David Duell activates his champions and targets the truck with flak rockets. The first shot scatters, but still hits several cultists. Uh, strength 4, so it will wound him. We will oh. make it. Use toughness 2, so that wounds him. Won't save, so roll an injury roll for him. So he's seriously injured again. The nearby cultists do not break. Wound the truck on a 6. Womp. <laughs> the other champion stands up and targets the ridge hauler. It will hit, right? And... So it will wound the shotgun guy. And roll in the wound dice. Flash wound. Sanctuary moves up and takes a fire all action. Crack grenade at the, the uh, truck in front of it. Rear. So it will hit. It will wound. It does not save. Ooh, catastrophic hit to the body. Weapon destroyed. One of the vehicle's weapons chosen at random is damaged and cannot be used for the remainder of this battle. In addition, the vehicle loses one hull point. If the vehicle has no weapons, it loses two hull points instead. The vehicle immediately makes a loss of control test. It makes it long rifle. So it will hit. The flamer spawns and targets the nomad champion. It will wound. Oh, lucky you, he does not get caught on fire. Ah, he actually falls. We're gonna roll to see if he lands on the next ledge. And he does. The heavy stubber cultist fires at the dust rider. So he will hit. He will stay with ammo. Uh, oh, he only rolled one ammo die, so he only hits once. Seven three. It does not wound. You make it. The dust rider charges the ridge hauler. It's rough. The quarter leader and champion group activate and double move up. The Laskin Cultus stands up and targets the nomad leader. And it will miss. The dust runner moves up and targets the ridge hauler. And miss. it will miss. The other quarter champion moves up. The shotgun cultist stands up and fires an execution around at Tanctuary. So he will hit for one. It does not wound. Tanctuary is unaffected. The nomad leader fires at the ridge hauler. So it misses. The aberrant stands up but again cannot charge. The seriously injured cultist does not recover. Neither the Genestealer cultists nor the Nomad's bottle. Another dust runner comes in from reserves. Second round. Anticlimactic. I, I think that we're, you know, I think that we're going to be able to stop this thing. If we don't kill each other first. Yeah. But yeah, I don't, I feel good about it. But uh, there wasn't a lot of whiffs for me in that round. Yeah, for sure. You came through big, but a lot of whiffs for me. Yep. So yeah, next round I'll get. Can't, <laughs> can't roll ones forever. Well, and he, he's only got four hull points left, and he's limping because of the uh, the, the shots. So I think that we're going to be able to pin him down. I think so too. Also, the guys on board have been getting rocked. <laughs> those uh, those frag templates were very effective. Very effective only reason I'm still alive. <laughs> it was nice to have Tanctuary actually do something to a vehicle. Uh, the upgrade from the fla dual flamers to uh, three different weapons, I think is a big change.
for the vehicle and will make it significantly more effective. Uh, but we'll see how it does this turn. I, I've got some uh, I've got some ideas of what to to do to handle the uh, cargo aid. Turn three. All right, so I go first, then the gene stealers, then you. Tank Cherry makes a ram move at the ridge hauler. I take a hit, strength three against toughness nine, so it on six. And now, David, you get to see if you jump. You do. If you auto hit, it'll damage it on a five. No. All right, and I take a strength three hit back. I do not get hurt either. The Gene Stealer Ridge Hauler attempts to drive off. One of the Nomad Champions leaps on Tanctuary. The champion fires a flak rocket at the back of the ridge hauler. <laughs> Roll an ammo check on him. Oh, six up ammo check. Ooh, and it goes out of ammo. So it only goes one inch, but it might be just enough to, because it was only on the corner. Oh wait, no. So At that angle, it'll still be over the vehicle. Four, so four up, does not wound. And... That one's on a six, does not. The quarter leader and champions group activate and move up. The Laskan cultist moves and takes an open shot at the quarter leader. So it will hit. Four. It will wound. Doesn't make it. Takes a wound. Check. She makes the initiative check. A dust rider charges the ridge hauler. So two hits. That's tough. Brutal. The shotgun cultist fires at the dust rider. So it will hit. It will wound. All right, so he's seriously injured your dude. So he will take a hit there, roll a five up save. He makes it, so he does not take a wound from falling. A dust runner moves up and targets the ridge hauler. So miss. we'll miss. The heavy stubber cultus stands up and targets Tanctuary. Um, long range. So it will hit. Leaning on sixes, neither wounds. Another dust runner moves up and targets the ridge hauler. So it will hit for one. And it stays, you're still having ammo. Six does not wound. The straggling nomad champion attempts to keep up. The aberrant stands up again. The nomad leader targets the ridge hauler. So it will hit. It will wound. So it does not make it safe. A pen to the body. Structural damage. The vehicle loses one hull point and immediately makes a handling check. If this check is failed, it becomes stationary and stalled. It passes. The seriously injured cultist does not recover. The seriously injured dust rider does recover. The cultists bottle, all except for the seriously injured fighter flee. The nomads do not bottle. A dust rider comes in from reserves. So, after three rounds, I think this is starting to get real. Catching up, catching up. Dude, some damage. They, they all went running for the hills at the end they, of the last they round. They booked, and now the, the ridge hauler and the injured guy are the only ones left. And if the ridge hauler guy bails, the crew bails, the ridge hauler is treated as being wrecked. It ain't over yet. It ain't over yet. I'm a little curious what, what happens when uh, they're all gone and it's just you, me, and the cargo. Let's whoever gets the cargo first completes the mission, <laughs> which is going to be you. Oh my God, David, <laughs> I can't win the mission. <laughs> How are you going to get on board and I get the cargo? I can't win the mission. Oh, I love technically. Ah, I'm so mad right now. <laughs> Don't blow me up. <sighs> I just made myself a target. All right. Well, no, I know. I think that. I think that. Oh, I'm so mad. 
<laughs> so, uh, yeah, I just realized there's no way for me to actually complete the objective of this mission with the crew that I drew, so that's fun. Uh, probably should have thought about that. But hey, you know, uh, whatever. <laughs> Oh wait, I guess I didn't draw the crew. I picked the crew, it's just that I only rolled three to bring in. So yeah, so I picked a crew that couldn't complete the mission that I wrote. So just in case you're wondering if arbitrators uh, are <laughs> capable of writing- She's cheating! If, if, you're cap <laughs> if you're wondering if arbitrators are capable of microwaving a burrito so hot that they themselves cannot <laughs> eat it, the answer is yes, and I have just done so. <laughs> Incredibly. Turn four. All right, so it's them, you, me. Hey, girl. Eight inches. And she is going to drop a flame template onto the guy, so it wounds on a two up, so it does wound him. All right, so it takes another flesh wound. It does not. Blaze roll for the vehicle. Oh, it's on fire. Blaze roll for that dude. Oh, he's on fire too. So two hit. Passes. He takes a wound. He goes out of action. Because it's so big. Does not go out of ammo, and it will not wound. So if she hits six, it will wound. Ah, it makes a save. First, the grenade, it will miss, also miss. Nope. Oh. Nope. You're good. Bottom of turn four, I think that this game is, uh, we're gonna definitely accomplish the objective. Uh, I, of course, am not going to be the one to do so, so there is that. Seeing how I'm the one that's on board. But uh, it was nice to have Tank Schreier show up and actually do something. Yeah, you know, I wouldn't be where I am without her. <laughs> uh, no, this is, like you said, like we're through the stressful part. Now it's just a matter of uh, how does it, how does it get destroyed? Yeah, we just got to stop the thing. It's just a matter of destroying it before it makes it off the edge. But, you know, all those bottles uh, help tremendously. For sure. Yeah. So I am enjoying uh, the opportunity to kind of run a, another super tough vehicle down uh, with my absurdly overpriced vehicle. That said, uh, you know, regretting some choices in terms of not having any infantry to uh, to secure the bag. But in retrospect, uh, I think David always kind of had the advantage there since he was starting, even with the vehicle, being able to get onto it before we stop it is a big, big bonus. So we'll see how it goes. Onward. Turn five. All right, so you, me, them. A dust rider charges. 
So one hits. Uh, nope. Tank Cherry targets the Ridge Hauler. And it will miss. It'll go out of ammo. That'll miss. Tank Cherry drives into the back of the Ridge Hauler. So I take a strength five hit. It does not wound. It does wound. Five up. Ah, he saves. The Ridge Hauler again drives forward. A Dust Rider charges the Ridge Hauler. Run up alongside it as far as I can. Mm -hmm. Just in case, uh... Ah, oh, whiffed all three. The quarter group activate. Sister Bright Helm moves up and targets the Ridge Hauler with her bolt gun. So it hits, but that's hot. All right, hits for two. Yeah, well, well. Sister Ignitus moves up and makes a ride along attack. Four up. It will hit. Move on a six. Does not work. Sister Dead Eye moves up and targets the Ridge Hauler but misses. A Dust Runner moves up and targets the Ridge Hauler. So it will miss. Ammo check. Passes. The remaining Dust Runners open fire on the Ridge Hauler, but do not wound it. One of the Nomad Champions runs forward. The other Nomad Champion fails to reload. The Nomad Leader targets the Ridge Hauler with his Blast Rifle. So, hits for one. The wound. Does not save. Glance to the drive. drive. Tank Slapper. The vehicle immediately makes a loss of control test. Loss of control test. Ha! Finally it fails one. So it's going to go 45 degrees to the left. The ridge hauler veers off. A dust rider dodges out of the way and it hits terrain. Driver wounded. It does. Five up save. Does not save. Pen to the driver. The driver suffers a flesh wound, causing the vehicle to reduce both its BS and handling characteristics by one. In any end phase in which the driver has one or more flesh wounds, roll a d6 during step 3 recover and restart one. The driver succumbs to their wounds and passes out. Immediately apply a driver blackout result against this vehicle. Do not roll to see if they recover from it this round 2 or 3. The driver grits their teeth and carries on driving through the pain 4 or more. The driver is able to patch up their wounds, remove one flesh wound, and its effects from the driver. Turn 6. Go ahead. All right, so I'll go first. Sister Bright Helm moves up and fires her combi flamer. Roll. It's good. It's your guy. It will wound. Seriously injured. So that will wound. Catastrophic to the hull. Sister Brighthelm did it from the back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the vehicle is wrecked. She took out a freaking cargo eight with her combi flamer. One of the nomads moves up and secures the loot. Hell of a, hell of a round. Yeah. It ended up just like I thought it was the whole time. I was never concerned. This was exactly what I was expecting. <laughs> Except I ran off with the loot, but uh, somehow in the negotiation for my life, I guess you walked off with more of the loot than I did. It's kind of funny. Well, uh, what, you, what you actually walked away with is information about what you found on that truck, which is to say some extremely high explosives like matter Ooh, destroying fuck. like nuke potential finally an scale. answer to the mining laser <laughs> <laughs> well it's not really weaponized in a way that you can use it it's mm. more like a uh it's more like something that's designed to kind of demolish something okay like a large something i see a large something on the board no no, no. <laughs> It's like way bigger than that. Like I said, it's like nuclear scale. Okay. 
<laughs> so a win's a win. I'm happy. No, yeah, just, you you got kind of a hint as to what's going on. So yeah, uh, Sister Brighthelm finally got a decent meaty kill, uh, taking out a Cargo Eight with her Combi Flamer. Um, I'm really happy about that. Uh, the champions on bikes performed admirably for what they were tasked with doing, which is ca playing catch up uh, and, and putting the shots on the on the enemy. We definitely had less of a you know an opportunity to engage because of how far back we started. But I think that we definitely held our own in terms of damage output. And as we've already talked about, it was actually impossible for me to uh, complete the mission objective with the crew that I selected. So the more you know. Conclusion. The Nomads earn 50 credits and gain the mysterious package. The Corda earns 60 credits and three salvage. Tanctuary also earns the gang 50 credits. We struck a blow against our foes today. But we must discover what those nomads found on board. We will take back what evidence we can find. Thanks as always to Carl Casey for providing the show's music. And of course, thank you to my patrons. You guys make this entire operation possible. And if you too would like to become a patron, you can do so for as little as $2 a month. And of course, the show also has a podcast, so don't forget to check that out. And everybody out there, please stay safe and don't forget to change your paint water.